Okay, this is the problem we are going to discuss in this video. The figure shows built up column consists of a standard RSJ uh, beam of 150 millimeter, 100 millimeter with 120 millimeter into 12 millimeter plate reverted to uh, each flange. This is the cross section. This is the rolled steel joist beam. Then this is the reverted uh, plates. Calculate the safe load the column can carry if it is a 4 meter long having uh, one end uh, fix supported and other end uh, pin supported then the factor of safety is given 3.5 take the properties of uh, rsj beam cross section as area is given and i value i x x value is given and i y value is given and also the elastic modulus of the material is equal to 200 gigapascal this is the problem given for uh, uh, one end fix supported and other end pin support situation, the column buckle form in this kind of curvatures. In this situation, the Euler buckle load equation is equal to the P is equal to 5 square EI divided by L square. To solve this problem, we are going to use the Euler's buckle load equation. Okay, the Euler buckle load equation, the P is equal to uh, 5 square. E i divided by L square. This is the equation for uh, one end pin supported and other end fixed supported situation. This is the Euler buckle load equation. In this equation, the E is uh, known 200 gigapascal. Then L also given 4 meters. Here we have to find the I value. If you take this uh, cross section, it having the two perpendicular symmetric axes, those are lie on the coordinate axis. In this situation, second moment of area maximize or minimize around these axis. If uh, I value uh, maximize at uh, around x axis, it will minimize around y y axis. If uh, I value maximize uh, at y uh, y axis, it minimizes around x x axis. Okay, to find the maximum and minimum value, we have to check both uh, both i values, i x x and i y y. The then we can obtain the minimum value by calculating uh, these two values. To calculate the i x x, first of all, I'm going to calculate the i x x for this R S J beam. The cross section i value is given is equal to eight point three. 91 into uh, 10 to the power of 6 millimeter into 4 then then i'm going to add the second moment of area produced by these uh, plates attached to riveted to this uh, beam so then i'm going to calculate the i value axis passes to this uh, point then i'm going to transfer it uh, to the x axis axis using the parallel axis theorem 1 over 12 the b 120 h 12 into cube plus a area 120 into uh, 12 a uh, d square the distance in between these two axes that is equal to here it is uh, up to 75 plus uh, 6 81 then this will give ixx 81 uh, square here we have in the two uh, similar areas so I have to multiply by uh, 2 so then this will give uh, IXX value as 27.32 uh, 27 into uh, 10 to the power of 6 millimeter into 4 this is uh, IXX similarly we have to calculate the IYY IYY is equal for the RSJ beam, uh, IYY value is equal to 0 0.948 into uh, 10 to the power of 6 plus I am going to add the I value of uh, these uh, two uh, plates attached to this uh, RSJ beam. If we take uh, one plate, 1 over 12, the B in this situation is thickness uh, 12 H. 
height total height is 120 122 q here the two plates so multiply by two so then i y y we can calculate i y i value is equal to 4.404 into 10 to the power of 6 millimeter into 4 this is the i y y okay this is the minimum uh, i value i y y when increase in the load that will buckle around the y y axis because uh, i value minimizes at this around the i y y that will uh, maximize perpendicular to that axis that value is equal to 27.32 into 10 to the power 10 to the power of 6 uh, millimeter into 4 so then we are going to use this uh, we are going to substitute this i value in the buckling load equation the buckling load is equal to into 5 square into e elastic modulus of the material is equal to 200 into uh, 10 to the power of uh, 9 into i value 4.404 into uh, we have to convert this uh, here the millimeter into 4 we have to convert into a meter into 4 so to convert this uh, meter into 4 we have to multiply by 10 to the power of minus 12 so this one become uh, 0 0.04 into 10 to the power of minus 6 uh, meter into 4 divided by the length of the column is given 4 into square then we can calculate the buckling load that is equal to 1086.64 kilonewton. Then the safety factor is given uh, 3.5. So then we can calculate the safe load by dividing this value in by uh, 3.5. That is equal to uh, 310.47 kilonewton okay this is how we are solving this kind of buckling load problem i think uh, you all got a clear idea how to solve this kind of problem okay see you next time thank you